Hello everybody, Jamie here with Real Caliber Outdoorsman. Uh, just going to tie another little fly here. Uh, I created myself, just a little something. Um, going to tie it on a number 10 uh, nymph hook. Um, what we'll do with this here now, I'm going to weight it. I'm going to put a little bead head uh, on there. Sometimes you got to pinch the barb to get that little bead on there. That's just going to get it down a little deeper than, uh, you, you know, a wet fly without weight on it, right? So we'll put that on there, tie in some uh, six odd thread. And this fly here, I call it the squirrely orange. Uh, just by the name, I mean, obviously there's going to be a little bit of orange in there, and I'm going to use some red squirrel tail. Uh, so I'm going to, so I locked in my bead, and uh, you can put a little, you can put a little dab of uh, head cement there, or super glue, whatever, whatever you have there. I'm just going to put a little head cement on there right now. to help keep it in place. I mean, it's not going to do it right away, but by the time the fly dries, it's going to be good. So, like I said, put a little base down and move forward. <clears throat> and I'm going to tie in some uh, Unistretch orange. Faster goes down a little more uniform. So just lock that in, and then start making my way towards the back of the fly. This is going to have an orange butt. That's what it's going to have. But I started towards the front of my fly and worked towards the back. Just keeps the fly all uniform, uniform shape to it. Nice and tight wraps here. And I'm just going to work my way towards the front. This is a really good fly though for uh, some still waters that we fish. You've seen in our trout fishing videos there some of the still waters that we fish there I mean they're great places to go I mean it's a good walk back in the woods and uh, good hike in and you definitely get rewarded when you get back in there Bring that there give a few wraps there trim it for where I locked in my, my bead. All right, <clears throat> now we're gonna cover up some of this orange. Just some thread here, black thread. I could have used some black yarn or something, but I got the thread on here now, let's go with it, right? So, now we're going to tie in some peacock curl. Stay away from the top there, a little brittle tips usually, right? But uh, you can chop them off right away or just do it later. I'll just do it later. So, I'm just going to lock these in right to the back of my orange here, where my orange begins. Move my thread back forward.
trim that. Now I'm just going to wind my uh, peacock curl forward. Going to be a little body. I mean, this is a simple fly again. I mean, I don't. I mean, in the future, you'll see a few flies that got you know a few more materials into it. But uh, like I say, I'm uh, I'm all about easy flies that catch fish. I mean, you can tie a dozen of these flies up. You know, what? 20 minutes if you're going at it hard. <clears throat> okay, now a little bit of red squirrel. I'm just going to pinch off a little bit there. Like I say, I don't like to use too much, uh, too much material, too thick. You know, it's probably good. Get it a little, little hairs underneath there. Keep the little buggers warm. There we go, just size it up what you want. Having this bead on here, it's going to help it get it down in the stream or still water, down where the trout in the early season are feeding on the nymphs. The stonefly nymphs or mayfly coming up, whatever, right? If I find anything with that orange, that orange butt there, I don't know what it is, but it's just uh, trout love orange, and uh, that's what I go with. Also do a uh, it's like a chartreuse, but I find it works good too. I got a little nymph pattern that I came up with. I actually found found one in a book that was actually kind of similar to what I came up with. Now, I, just coincidence there, but uh, you know, it was, it was pretty good. And, and the reason why, easy materials. It had uh, peacock curl in it. A lot of easy flies uh, that are tied got the peacock curl. It's, it's a proven material, right? So. But uh, yeah, just whip finish that off again. Boom. Whip that off, add some hit cement. Boom, just like that. There you go, everybody. Another proven pattern for Nova Scotia Brook Trout, right there. Been using it for years. Hope you enjoyed. Get out there, get some materials, get the flies tied up. Come spring, you'll be ready to go. Have a good one.